Okay, all flight controllers, gonna go for landing. Retro. Go. Rhino. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Hey, everybody. Go. Welcome to Spoon FEV. Uh, my dog's under the table here, so. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different. This one's going to be kind of a quick video. Uh, so TJ from T-Bone Drones posted a video recently about, hey, pup. There's the dog. It's funny <laughs> because he posted the equipment that he needed in the video, which is a run cam uh, camera wire. And you can actually buy these from run cam. They, they sell them for two bucks a piece, uh, maybe even cheaper. But if you take one of these, the connector style is actually the same style connector that FreeSky uses. So this weekend I blew apart one of my quads racing in a parking garage clip. And I was fixing it and realized I did not upgrade the the free sky receiver and one of the wires was broken so it's a perfect time for me to do this take this uh, one of the camera wires from Runcam that I purchased for like two dollars and then replace the wires for the Tyrannus free sky with silicone so I'm gonna change the camera angle and then show you how to do this all right, so this is my exploded quad. I'm in the middle of my transplant, and this was the. These are the old um, the PVC wires that are on there, and this is the silicone that I would like to see run. Uh, I would like to see Free Sky use on their receivers, but they don't. So you can actually buy Run Cam, great camera. They they use them on theirs, so you can buy the part. Here is the. The part number, I'll put a link for this in the description, but it's uh, ACQ2325X. That might just be something that, it, I don't know. I'll put a link in the description for you. And so this connector style is, do I have, I can actually tell you what it is because I have spare ones over here. I'll put a link for that in the description as well, but you can actually buy the connector and it is a... WM1723ND from DigiKey, if you can see that, that part number there. So I actually have uh, a couple boxes of, of these things and, and little teeny connectors that I use to replace them when I break them. So I'll put a uh, link in the description for that as well if you, wanna, if, you, if you botch this connector up. So what I do is I take the... You can either take the wires out of this guy so that you don't have to buy the wires. So use your either, I like to use the tweezers, but you can use tweezers, razor blade, whatever. You pull the pull a little pin latch up. I don't can you see that? Pull the pin latch up. It's holding in. Pull these out. And then you can pull, do the same thing with these guys. The other way you can do it is use a razor blade. So, Tuck. I'm doing this just so you can see it now. So you tuck the razor blade in, get that wire, pull it out. Then we'll pop that one in to the hole that we took the one out of the free sky. Pop it in, and now we have a silicone wire for that signal line and you basically just repeat this for all the rest of them and i like to do them one at a time so that i don't screw them up but if you screw up the pin out you can actually look on the well this one's got tape over it but you can look on the back of here they're actually labeled ground five volt the s port cppm and s bus so you know which wire is which and this so ground is all the way this way, um, and then the S-Bus is all the way this, this side. And you have a silicone wire that fits into your uh, Free Sky. So, boom, look at that. Free Sky with, with silicone wires. Oh, this one I need to push in a little more. But. Now the other option for this is you can actually purchase 
So if you if you break this, you can you can buy the the connectors that I referenced earlier from DigiKey or Mauser or one of those. Uh, they're Molex connectors. You can you can buy one of these from them. I, I'll put the part number in the description, like I said. And you can also get. Do I have any sitting readily available? You can get pre-crimped wire. This is with the those type of ends on it. I could not find a source for this wire pre-crimped with silicon wire. This is still PVC. But if you're in a, in a jam, it works out. If you're really hardcore about it and you're doing a lot of them, you can buy the... I wouldn't do... I wouldn't suggest this for anybody, but you can buy the crimper for, for doing these type... You can buy the crimper for doing these type of connections. And the, the crimpers are, are kind of expensive for that. Like it's... They're a thousand dollar crimper and you have to do lots and lots of them. So a pre-crimped solution is is a, a lot better. And cheap crimpers for crimps this size just do not work. You, I, I have not found a cheap crimper that's going to work for something that size. So that's why I'm finding things that are pre-crimped. And a pre-crimped solution is to pull apart the run cam camera connector. So hopefully I'm going to get back to work and putting back together my video quad that I smashed. And... More to come in the future. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.